class from first class i'm sure you should be excited right now because it's an interesting instrument of course you already know musax new what youtube channel and what we do here we teach us all instruments so right now today is trumpet class so stay tuned and keep learning and if you're still watching me right now you have not subscribed what are you waiting for guy come on hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload anything at all just be rest assured that we upload every week and they are interesting content or right, stay tuned and keep learning Okay, guys, Musax here again, Musax New World Empire. I am here to show you something about the trumpet. I want to go straight into the intermediate classes where I'll be teaching you a lot about improvisation. But, of course, I want to quickly use this class to revise what we did in the beginner's class. You know, I've shown you key C, I also show you key G and some key F and the rest. You can transfer some of those knowledge into other keys as we, we go in the, big, in the intermediate class. Now, uh, the trumpet is a very interesting instrument and uh, you have to know some techniques that will make it sound professional. I'm sure you don't want to just sound -na 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 like that, like that. So you want to be able to sound very matured and your tone should be very clear. So we did a course on your tone, showing you your tone. And we said your tone becomes professional when you know four techniques. It's the same thing we teach on sax. So you have to know your vibrato on the trumpet. And then I've also shown you how to do tonguing and where to do tonguing. I've shown you the slurry technique and even the grace note techniques. So then we did some scales permutation to get you very strong and your fingering exercises that we have done. All right, so, but I'm going to do that again. I'm going to brush through today on the key of F on the trumpet. Trumpet is a B-flat instrument. It means for us to be playing F here, the concert instrument are going to be playing E-flat. I hope you get what I mean. So, I want to go on with my key F. <laughs> song I just played, you will discover that the, I'm doing some vibrato, I'm adding some tonguing, I'm doing some slurring, and even grace note is part of what I just did. So, and then some permutations are coming in. So, you'll be able to play this and have this kind of tone if you are following our course, or if you just simply get the trumpet library. That is, is actually what I'm following. But I want to just go through it very fast in this class. All right, the first thing you should learn is, okay, on the key of F or any key you pick is to be able to do your major scale. Before you can do this, of course, your embouchure, watch the class on embouchure. You want to produce the low note, I have a course on it. You want to produce the high note, I, produce a, I have a course on it. Now, the next thing now is that I'm assuming that your embouchure is fine. The trumpet assembly is not that difficult. Positioning your hand is not that difficult. If you have problems, go through the courses that are in this library. 
But let's start with the major scale, walking you through the major scale. After major scale, you have to be able to go. <laughs> That's just one octave. Of course, you have to extend the octaves through that, that uh, note before you can improvise. So, after you've done that, go and check it in the courses. That's the scale permutation course in the trumpet library. So, begin to go. I go so okay now you take the next one we did uh, see that I told you now then you take the four four So you have to practice all of these. Then you take your pentatonic scale. Then after you've done that, you begin to permutate your key, your, your pentatonic scale. Until you notice that your speed is going. Then the next thing, and then you begin to learn your techniques. You begin to play song. Just play song randomly to get used to the sulfur notation. If you don't have songs on sulfur notation, which I will advise, you have it in the trumpet library for you to just follow some songs and play with the sulfur notation. So begin to play songs and play songs. I don't bore you with that. Common crosses, get them written. So I have a lot here for you in this library. All right, guys. So you just go ahead and do that now. After you have done that, the next is to go to your technique. You need to be able to do your tongue in two, 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 two. I've taught it in this course. Go ahead and get the video. That's the double. All right. So after that, you go to your vibrato. Vibrato, I've showed you several vibrato in this trumpet course. The one you should do, the one you should not do, I've shown you. There is this shaking, shaking of this trumpet vibrato and there's the, the embouchure vibrato. Which is also, I say, it should not be too slow, it should not be too fast. I'm not shaking it. The other one is shaking. Shaking, you have to, you know, really know it. Most times, it's not really professionals who shaking things, but you, most times, you see professionals that do it. The good news 
things about the mouth own is that once you get used to it, you don't really have to be cautious about it. But the shaking, you can't be shaking every time. It's also, the shaking is also interfering with your fingering. That's why it's better to use the mouth. I've shown you in that topic. So you continue with, uh, if I want to play Amazing Grace now, add in vibrato. <laughs> Miss vibrato, if you want to have that, even on the on the sax, don't think you are playing the trumpet and then you're blasting anyhow. Vibe, you need that tone that saxophonists have, trumpeters have. Okay, after after that, you need to be able to do slurring, which I've shown you how to slur in this course. So just go ahead. This is just to recap before I actually start taking some courses on the intermediate class, which is basically improvisation. The next thing is that you have to be able to do your grace notes. Grace note is what every saxophone is do, which most trumpeters to do. So you have to be able to do that. There's a breakdown of the course of this on this. So when you're playing a song like Amazing Game. <laughs> This slurring and grace note working hand in hand in that. So just you just discover that when you can do this, just take another song, I saw it down. Sound on your ear, but I think that's beautiful uh, to be able to put grace notes, slurring, vibrato, and tonguing in your every melody you make as a gospel trumpeter or any other trumpeter out there. All right, so you need to get this course on the trumpet library because that's what's going to help you to know all of these things. So you're going to sound beautiful. That's how you should sound on the trumpet, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Going through the saxophone for many years right now. I have been able to transfer all of this knowledge into the trumpet, which I was before I actually picked up the saxophone. I was actually a trumpeter before I actually picked up the saxophone. So I feel I should go out there and just reach out to those of you that want to learn the trumpet with these techniques that we have been teaching over the years. And thank God I'm able to put it together as a course, as you can see. I've just crashed the beginner's course on the key of F. Of course, there's still so many things you hear me do that 
is not part of this course, like the uh, passing notes, the landing notes, the grace notes, I mean the, the enclosures that you see me do, and all of this, which we shall meet in the intermediate uh, trumpet library. So I want you to get ready, follow us on this channel, and continue to follow our courses. Get these courses from Versax, as she has told you, and I believe that um, you are going to enjoy every bit of it. Wow, that was an interesting class. Oh my God. So detailed. Ha, guys, I say, I'll soon join this trumpet class. What do you think, guys? All right, guys. See, this class is so detailed. And I'm sure you're going to practice what you've been taught. So make sure you practice every bit of what you learned today. All right. Hit the subscribe button if you are still watching it up to this moment. Hit the subscribe button. Share this video. Don't keep this yourself now. And for those of you that want to enroll for one-on-one, -on -one, we are fully available. On trumpet, on saxophone, on any instrument at all, we are available for you to register with us. Yes. And uh, trumpet library is also ready. Yay! It's ready. Trumpet library is ready. So you can buy the library uh, and you can, you can actually teach yourself the trumpet. It's ready. So contact us on the number that you will see on the description box. Guys, see you in our next class. Bye. Love you, love you.